So we work with a wide range of professionals. Um, we do have now um, a specialist nursing team um, supported by the NHS, so they're not employed by us. Um, and the NHS have recognised that, that, you know, the, the need for somebody medical in the school to make some clinical decisions is really important. So that, that's good. We're pleased that that's been recognised. But there's a, there's a whole wealth of other people as well. So we work alongside different therapists in the NHS, a physiotherapist, occupational therapists, um, speech and language therapists. Um, and they're, they're, you know, their expertise is hugely important into the input for some of these children. It's really, really crucial that we get their input. Also, we, we have people like a drama specialist and an active ed specialist who work on their kind of really niche roles in this school. And they work really well individually with children as well. So there's, there's, a, there's a whole plethora of other professionals that it's not just teachers and TAs. There's many other people that are involved in, um, and perhaps you want to talk a bit about Oh yeah, Creative so, therapies. Yeah. so we, we, have, um, we have a really good uh, wellbeing team. It used to be the family support team. So uh, particularly when you parents first come into the school to build a sort of relationship with the teacher and the TAs. But, you know, if, if there is some issue around that or you need help with filling in, or parents need help with a, filling in a you know, DVLA, um, a DL, DLA, sorry, DLA form, um, the, the wellbeing team can support with that. Um, they're all trained counsellors, uh, which the school have invested in. And we do have a creative therapies team as well for children with more psychological um, issues. I'm part of that because I'm also a play therapist. We've got drama therapists, music therapists. And if it's right for the child, and we'll make those decisions, if, the, if, if how, how their learning is being impacted by some psychological distress, we would make those decisions about what support we can put in. Mm. Because the CAMS, you know, child and adolescent mental health services are so stretched uh, we've sort of we've been very proactive in thinking about what can we do to help our pupils engage with learning as much as possible, mm. and if that means putting in a block of therapy or counselling, however you want to define that, then then that is what we would do.